Hi everyone, this is Nick, and today I'm going to show you how to make this kind of fun infographic-y curved column chart in Excel. Now I saw this in a video by Layla Garani over on YouTube, and I'm going to put her link down below. I hope that you go and follow her. She uh, and her channel are a wealth of information about Excel, PowerPoint, anything Microsoft really. So I hope you go and check her out, subscribe to her channel, subscribe to my channel too. But I wanted to see if I could make the same kind of curved bar chart effect, this infographic-y feel, with some of the data that I usually work with, which is usually things like visitor experience or visitor satisfaction survey data from um, informal learning places like museums, zoos, aquariums, that sort of thing. So you can see right here, this is what the chart is going to look like. And it's kind of cool. It's just a different effect from the average everyday column chart that we're so used to making. So let's flip over to the screen and I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, from scratch. And we're going to do a few different uh, techniques to get it to look exactly like this. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is insert our column chart. So we already know how to do that. This is my scores and it's gonna be scores each month. And so we're just gonna to go to the insert tab, go to the column chart, 2D clustered column. And so we would do all of the different editing uh, tweaks to this. This would be where our title would be. I'll just title it this this year. Let's go ahead and update the font just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the gap width between the bars. I'm gonna do that to 50%. It's usually what I like, 50 to 30%. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the grid lines. I don't think we really need those. And I'm just gonna go ahead and update the axis to 100. So just put a one there and that's gonna be my max right there. Looks like a nice column chart. I also wanna get rid of this gray border around my chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no border. Now, this is a really nice column chart. If we wanted to, we could put labels in there, and that would be nice too. We could put labels outside the columns. Now, if I want it to be curved, all we need to do is embed a picture or an object into these columns, and we can do that right inside of Excel. Go to the Insert tab, and then the Shapes, and then I scroll all the way down here to sort of this half, um, it's called flowchart delay, but it's sort of like a uh, kind of a half circle or half moon. So I'm gonna click that, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna draw it anywhere um, on my slide here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna format this. I'm gonna keep it the same blue color, but I'm gonna make sure that it's set to no outline. So that's a really important step in this process is make sure that the shape is no outline. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate it, that 45 degrees there. So it's right there, perfect. All right, now all I need to do, you can move this to wherever you wanna do it. I'm just gonna push Control C or I'm gonna right click and click Copy. And I'm just gonna click the bars and I'm gonna paste. So right click and paste. Oops, I guess right click doesn't work for me to paste here. Uh, I think maybe I could just click this. Perfect, I just click the paste button up there. You could do Control C and then Control V for paste. So, okay, this looks kind of interesting, but you can see that the uh, the curves are really stretched. And so this might be the look that you like, but I want to do it so that it looks a little bit different than that. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go down here and we're going to make a new chart. First, uh, we're going to make a, we're actually gonna make the chart into a stacked column chart. So I need to rework with the source data a little bit. We can't just insert a chart from the source data that we did before. I have to create a couple variables here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, this is kind of just up to your taste, but I'm gonna do uh, a formula here. So it's gonna be equals the score minus 0.1, so that's minus 10%. So everything here is gonna be 10% lower than the actual value of my score. I'm just gonna go ahead and format it to zero decimal points. And then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have 10% uh, in this column. Like all of these cells are gonna be 10% right here. Now this is gonna form the base of my stacked column chart. So what I'm gonna do now to insert that column chart is highlight this, push the control key, and then I'm gonna highlight the lower and upper uh, stacks here. I'm gonna keep the score, the actual score um, out of this for now. We're gonna go up to insert and we're gonna go to the column chart tab here and we're gonna do the center option here, stacked column. We don't want 100% stacked column, we just want the normal stacked column right here. All right, so now you might be able to see where we're going here. We can go ahead and do whatever you want to with the formatting of the chart. I'm gonna get rid of that border again. I'm gonna get rid of the grid lines. I'm gonna update the axis here, 100. 
and let's do that gap width to 50 again, 50%, perfect. All right, and I'm gonna go back up here. I still have this uh, copied. I'm gonna go ahead and right click copy the uh, kind of the half moon object and then right in the top stack of the chart, I'm gonna push control V to paste and you can see now it stretches less because there's just less space there so the actual shape doesn't uh, stretch so much and so the curves on the top are much broader and I think I like that look a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the legend because that's meaningless to us, right? Now the other thing here is you want, might want to put in labels. So I could put in data labels to this top section and then I'm going to update the color but you can see it's all 10% and that's not right uh, because that's just pulling from the created variables or the created chart data source that we made. So now with all the data labels selected all you need to do is go over to the little format data label menu, click on the bar chart and instead of value checked go up here and say values from cells. And now this is where we need to use our actual score. So now we're gonna point to the data that we want to put into those labels. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into our score label here. We'll say okay. And now you see we have a perfect bar chart with uh, the curved tops and the correct data labels on the end of the columns. So again, thank you so much, Leila Garani, for uh, showing me this technique. I'm definitely going to use it in some of my dashboarding and reporting. It's kind of just a fun, engaging way to make uh, a column chart, maybe you know a little bit less expected for your audience. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified every time I post a new new tutorial in data design, PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. Remember, you don't need to be a professional designer to look like one using the software that you already have and access every single day. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time.